Good morning. Today is gonna be kind of a fun day. So if you guys don't know, I live in Iowa and it is most definitely starting to get cold. And so I thought I would take you guys along with me for the day to show you how I prepare for winter here in Iowa. But first, before we do any of that, I am gonna do a little project that I wanna get done this morning. Around our house, we have like some pictures of Jay and I. My friend Bree takes our pictures every year, and so I'm gonna go ahead and change out all the pictures in all of these photo frames. When Jay and I got married, I decided that I wanted to get our pictures taken every single year so I could have a book to look on every year showing us like growing throughout the years. And then someday our kids will be able to look back on these books. So I went ahead and just ordered my pictures through Walgreens. I just ordered them online and did the pickup in store. Works super well and they're 50% off right now. So it was definitely the best option for my buck. But while I do this, I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown of what we are doing today. Like I said before, I live in Iowa and it is starting to get cold and there are always things every year that I do to prepare for the winter and I have to use a butter knife to open one of these picture frames because it's so hard to open. There's like a list of things that I like to do every year just to prepare for the winter and make it the most comfortable winter that I can make it be. So sealing up the house to make it warmer, things like that. And then um, there's things that I do that like help with our electric bill. And how fun is this? So this was last year's photo. And then this is from when we got engaged. This year I got this one to put in the frame. But anyways, as I was saying, there are things that I do every year for the winter. And today we're gonna knock out that entire list. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these together and then let's get to the winter preparedness. There, I got my new pictures hung up and then I need to clean up this mess. Got a new one over here. And I have a new one in the bedroom. Super cute and cozy. Now that that is done, I made a list of all the winter things I need to get done. And so let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four. Five. I have 13 things that I need to get done today. And my goal is to be done by one o'clock. And so my plan is to do all the things that I need to do inside first. I think I'm going to start with knocking out the quickest things first. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Okay, I think I decided what we're going to do. Let's go. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and gather up all of my diffusers in the house. They all need washed out. They are starting to get like a pink film in them. I don't know if you guys can see that around the edges, but they need washed out. If you guys did not know, it's important to have moisture in your air, especially in the winter. Um, viruses like the flu love to live in dry environments. And so I have made it a priority to make sure these are going pretty much at all times when we are home, whether they have essential oils in them or not you can run these and these are super cheap. These ones were from Amazon. I will link them down below and they run for 10 hours. So that's super nice. And then our humidifier, we just run at night to breathe in while we sleep, which we actually haven't started running that this year yet, but I will start running it tonight. In each and every room, I have a diffuser and then I have some oils next to each diffuser. In the living room is where I have the bulk of my essential oils. This year is especially important to stay healthy. And so over here I got my oils and lately I've been doing a lot of oils that have like respiratory support. So today I think I'm gonna do this oil called RC and then I think I'm gonna add in some eucalyptus. I'm 
then I was gonna show you guys, I do put this treatment capsule in my dehumidifier. I only get one a year, even though it just says for 45 days, but it helps prevent like mineralization from forming in your humidifier. You can just get these at Walmart. It also prevents like odor in your humidifier and the growth of bacteria. So this just goes in here. And then we'll just run this at night. And then we just have the Sunbeam humidifier. It runs all through the night and there's multiple settings for like high and low. If you live somewhere where it gets cold in the winter and if you have an old house on top of it, you definitely know when it gets cold, everything leaks in your house and you get drafts and which stinks because it's cold in your house and your like electric bill goes up, just silly little things that make you uncomfortable. And so there are a few things that I do that can help prevent those things. And so these things that I'm gonna show you are things that we do here at our home. And so there's one, two, three, four things that I'm gonna show you real quick. Two of them are super simple, super fast, and then the other two take a little time, which is kind of a bummer, but definitely worth it. So the first thing, these little things that you use for like, to protect your kids from sticking their fingers in an outlet, outlet plugs, I guess you could call them. These are just the GE brand, but you can use any brand. So at our house, the outlets on the outer walls, if you put your hand up next to them, you can just feel wind like drafting in horribly. And so one simple trick that I have found is if I just plug them, then the wind doesn't get let in those holes. We've already done this, so I'm not gonna be doing this and showing you today. But if you put socket sealers, like take off the outlet, and then put these little foam socket sealers behind them. This is one for a light switch, but it's just a foam piece that goes behind and it helps seal it tight to the wall and then air won't get through this foam. Anyways, I'll link these down below as well as these little plugs that, that we put in. And the two other things, we have this door wind stopper, I guess you could call it. So our door, which I will show you guys in a minute, that like lets you in the front door, gets really drafty in the winter and lets a lot of air in underneath. Just from living in the country, the wind can come in strong. There's nothing around us to stop the wind like other houses and we do not have a tree break. So we put this down at that door and it's just weighted. This one is from Menards and if I can find it, I will link it down below or I can link something similar, but it's just weighted and lays right in front of the door and then when you open it, it just like slides with the door. This is super handy and has saved us a lot of wind coming inside, which this is definitely the most time consuming thing that I will be doing today. And that is to plastic your windows. So this is just a window kit that I got at Walmart, but this says it's supposed to save up to $190 on your energy bill. This isn't really for me and the energy bill. This is for me being comfortable and warm at night. Let's go ahead and put all these things where they need to go, and then we'll probably do this last for inside the house. When preparing for winter, this is most definitely the easiest thing you can do. So if there's one thing you take from this video to do to winterize your house, let it be this. And I just go through around the entire house and fill every single one of these. This one is definitely the worst over here. I don't know if you can see this swaying, but that is from the draft that comes through that. Just plug these up. And then I believe everywhere else still has them on from last year because they're in areas that we don't reach for to plug things in. And so they still have some in it. Oh, except I found one more under the shelf. And this thing, super simple as well. It's just really long. It's like the size of the door. Just throw that down there. Push it up against the draft. There we go. Moving on to hands down, hands down, the most inconvenient thing that I'm going to be doing today. Let's be honest. What is convenient about winter? Mm, let's think about this for a minute. Nothing. There's nothing convenient about winter. Like I said earlier, 
This is a window kit to plastic your windows so air does not go in through your windows. We do have newer windows, so they're not super drafty like they used to be or thin, but they still do let in cold air. And so I do this every winter. This window is plastic. I don't even know if you can tell. I did such a nice job. But there's plastic on it. You just blow dry it until it's nice and tight. This window probably took me about 20 minutes. And so it definitely takes some time. And I have one, two, three, four or five windows to go. I think my plan is to continue on with my list and then later today I will come back and work on more of these windows. I actually might do one more right now, do the bathroom real quick and then save the bedrooms for later. I'm gonna go ahead, do one more window real quick and then I am going to fix a seal on the back window or our, on our back door. So here we go. another window is done I got the bathroom window done and you can't even tell I'm so impressed with myself on to the next project which I believe is the seal on the back door that I need to fix and then I need to gather up all my winter stuff that needs to go in my car which I will show you everything that I pack in my car for the winter to make sure that I am safe and I have the things that I need if I were to go in the ditch or anything like that. Here we go. As you can see, the seal under our door is coming undone. Hello, little baby. I need to get some hot glue or something and glue this back up before one of us steps on it and pulls it all the way off. While my hot glue gun goes ahead and heats up, so I can fix that seal. I am gonna show you guys what I keep in my vehicle all winter long, just in case I were to go into the ditch or anything like that. In the back of my car every winter, I keep this like tote thing. As you can see, it's pretty dirty, so I need to dust it off. In here, I keep an ice scraper for obvious reasons, like if ice forms on my windshield. I just keep a blanket I actually keep two blankets in my car in case I get cold, like if I were to run out of gas or something like that, I would have something warm to cover up with. Then I also keep this, which I need to just keep this in there all the time. I didn't realize that it wasn't in my vehicle actually, but it's just a portable air compressor. So if I were to get a flat somewhere in the winter, I could fill up my tire and get to a safe place that is warm. I also need to get, maybe I should put that on my Christmas list. I need to get jumper cables because I do not have any jumper cables in my vehicle in case my battery were to die. I also keep a pair of snow pants. If you were to have car troubles and need to get out of your vehicle for a long period of time or to walk somewhere for help, you are definitely going to want snow pants. This is important and this is something like I highly recommend for all people that live in cold climate areas. You guys need to have a kit in your vehicle. I also keep a pair of snow boots. Like I said, if you need to get out of your vehicle for whatever reason and like transport yourself anywhere or help with anything, you're gonna want some snow boots. And then I keep a hat as well as a pair of gloves and I'm gonna add this to my order list because I need to order something else. Um, I need to get like a pair of heavy duty gloves. These are just like the really thin gloves, but I don't have any 
thick gloves. I don't know where mine went. I usually don't keep any food or water in my vehicle, especially water because it's just going to freeze, but I probably should put like some granola bars or something in here. And one other thing I keep in my vehicle, which I don't know where it is, so I need to find that, is I have like a little mini shovel that I keep in case I need to help like scoop my tires out of an area. If you guys have any other suggestions of what I should keep in my like emergency kit, for the winter in my vehicle, please let me know. I do already have a flashlight in my vehicle that stays in there all year round and a phone charger. That is the other thing that I highly recommend that you keep in all of your vehicles as a phone charger because you never want to be in a position where your car breaks down and your phone is dead and it's the dead of winter. And then make sure you guys seal up any seals that will let cold air in. I just keep this in the trunk of my vehicle. I have an extra blanket that I keep in here. I do have one more pair of gloves that are in here, but I still am going to get a thicker, more like plasticky feeling type glove. I definitely do not need my lawn chair anymore. That goes there. And then my grocery sack is over here. It doesn't leave me much room, but I can always put groceries in my back seat. And then I could put some here, but this is important that I keep that with me. Before I go outside and do things out there, I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch, but there is one more thing that I wanna show you guys that I will just pick up in store when I'm at Walmart next, but you can order it online. And this is something I buy and we use every single winter. So we always buy multiple bottles of this stuff called ISO heat. I just call it liquid heat but you add this to your gas tank in your vehicle and it helps pull water out of your gas so your gas tank will not freeze over. The last thing that I need to do to prepare for winter is complete some things outside. It is really chilly outside today, but luckily it's not super windy. This last weekend was so windy. I did not go outside at all. Well, I did, I guess, because I went shopping with my mom, but other than that, we were inside all weekend. It is cold enough that I'm for sure going to want to wear a hat and gloves and probably an extra sweater. I think I'll just wear two coats. And then my goal is once I get outside, this shouldn't only take about 30 minutes, thankfully, but I'm gonna work fast and get it done so I can come back in where it's warm. We'll go to the other door and get my coat. Although you always know winter is coming, I'm never prepared for it. But I don't really think anybody has ever prepared for it unless you're like a winter lover. And it's not that I hate winter or anything like that, but I definitely prefer fall or spring. So the first thing is actually in the garage of what I need to do and it is for the cat. So if you guys saw in a previous video where I like deep cleaned the garage and the deep freezer, I showed you guys where she sleeps and I make this cardboard house on a shelf that is right by our door to get into the house that she sleeps in and in there is her little bed. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's dark in here, but every winter she, when it starts to get cold, she'll like scoot away to the back of this because there's a draft that comes in here that like hits her when she lays right here. So I always go ahead and put out a towel as like a little door. So it keeps more of the heat in for her. This goes over the door for her. And this just stays here all winter long. And then I'll take it down later. I need to go ahead and take down my fall decorations, put away these that had mums in them, pull out my dead flowers, and then my pumpkins, I need to go ahead and dispose of them. I'll actually probably just find a spot in a ditch down the road because they're compostable and they'll just help feed the ground. So I don't feel bad about doing that. I'll put this flower pot as well down in the barn. A couple weeks ago, I did go ahead and put away all of my ceramic pots for the winter and I took care of the garden stuff already. Once I'm done doing that, there's like three more things I need to do.
the porch is all cleaned off all my flowers are pulled this stuff goes down to the barn and this stuff i just need to walk down to the field get it out of the yard and this bed is done too what do you think but the last thing I need to do by the house while I'm outside is I need to go around and pull all the gutters off of the house so they don't get stepped on in the snow because you can't see them. And two, when the wind comes through in the winter, they usually blow off and then they can blow away. There's just two more that I need to detach and I need to get a pair of scissors because they think Jay zip tied one on because it always blows off. I have all my pumpkins in the back of my vehicle, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive those down somewhere and toss those out. And then this entire pile of stuff is going to the barn, which I will show you where I put it in the barn in a minute. But sometimes you need to work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna go dump the pumpkins out. Then I'm gonna come back, load up all of this in my vehicle and just drive it down. So I only had to make one trip down because my mouth is starting to freeze, I think, and it's getting harder to talk. So this would be smart for me to do, just drive it down. You guys can tell I'm in my barn now trying to decide where I'm gonna put my gutters. And then I'll show you guys real quick. I haven't shown you guys like when I put away my gardening stuff, how I organized and stuff. So I can show you guys that real quick while I'm down here. If you are new here, welcome to my barn where all the summer things happen. But I went ahead and just put the gutters over here on the floor on this side for the winter. And over here is where I have all my garden stuff stored for winter. These were brought out of my garage like these um storage things and so i just brought them down here and stacked my garden stuff on them my green stock stuff down here which if you haven't seen my video on my green stock check that out i'll link that down below but there's nothing really too exciting about it there's just this is just where i kept stuff since jay and i cleaned this out this summer the only other thing i need to do this winter is over here under these tarps are our snow tires these need to be brought in pretty soon and be put on the car. I don't know if you know anything about snow tires, but they have a lot more grip. Although they are an investment, I would rather my husband be safe on the road than in a ditch dead or hurt or just stuck in a ditch cold. So we bought some snow tires. We just keep them on through like November till it's done snowing and then they come off and they go in the barn for the winter and then the regular tires go back on. Here's the garden, all dead for winter. And I could not get my cabbage to grow all summer because I planted it too late and then now it's like practically growing. <laughs> but I'm cold, so let's go back inside and review our list. I think we're done. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of winter, I am excited to learn some new hobbies over the winter. I'm hoping to learn more about making bread, and noodles and i would like to learn embroidery and learn some new sewing projects since i haven't pulled out the sewing machine in a while even though it is a quiet season and it's cold season and it's a long season i am planning on making the most of it and enjoying it to my fullest ability i made it back inside it is getting very brisk outside the breeze is picking up a little bit all I have left to do is plastic some more windows, which I'll do here in a little bit. My goal is to get done completely today with all winter stuff except the winter tires because I can't really do much about that myself. Hopefully this video was kind of a look into the life of getting ready for winter in Iowa. I know some people have a lot more things that they need to do and a lot less things they need to do for winter, but this is what I do. Yeah, it is... Definitely worth doing these things now before there's snow on the ground. It helps with electric bill and making sure things last that are outside, like my flower pots and my gutters and things like that, because I don't want to pay for mistakes later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, spending the day with me. Life has been busy. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. I'm glad you guys are here and I'm glad you guys 
stuck around for the video and I would love to know some things that you guys do to prepare for winter that I may have not done or maybe that I should have done or maybe that you guys do that is just different. I would love to hear it. I love hearing different ways of life and things that I can improve on. With that being said, I am going to go stick my hands under some warm water because they're pretty darn cold. Gonna get my slippers on and enjoy the rest of my evening after I put up this window plastic. Bye!